this, right? Oh, did you want this? Yes, I did. Hey, yo, man. Oh, it's okay. Hey, Paul. You remember? Uh, Nora dragged me here. Where is she? She's parking the car. She wants to grill me about my college plans. You got plans? Yeah, I just get as far away from Star as I can. I, I want to thank you again for asking me to join you. I just, I just, I can't stop looking at that little nose. <laughs> it looks like an alien, right? Think you think it does? There was a picture of Star, one of their sonograms, where you were sucking your thumb. And that's when I knew I had this real human being right inside me. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. <laughs> Star, I I asked your mom a question while you were in the doctor's office. I probably should have asked you. I should have talked to you about it first. Okay, uh, what? Well, I told her, as far as I'm concerned, that she's welcome to be a grandmother to the baby. You did? I did not give her an answer yet. Uh, wow. <laughs> Wow. Uh, well, what I haven't asked is, do you want to be a part of the baby's life? I want my grandchild. And you're going to make sure I get it. I guess that's something we should have talked about a long time ago. Well, whatever huh? you want to do, Story, that is completely up to you. I just... I just wanted you to know that I am fine with you being in the baby's life. You don't have to give any answers today, sweetheart. You've got months to figure this out, okay? More like two months, Mom. And I think that Mrs. McBain has a right to know what to expect. You are letting me adopt your child, Star. I think you can call me Marcy. Okay. Marcy, uh, when you ran away with Sam, I know that we felt that... Sam should be with my dad because of blood and everything. But I so get now that you were his mother. And and my dad didn't think about what was best for Sam. He just, you know, did what he wanted. Uh, you know, Star, I kind of feel like I need to come to your dad's defense here. At the time, your dad didn't know where Sam was. He was looking for him, and he wanted him. You know, we didn't want to confuse Sam either, but I, I, I don't want to confuse. Right. I don't want to confuse this baby. Of course, I love this baby so much, and I do want to be a part of his or her life. But I also want what's best for the baby. Honey, why wouldn't it be what's best? Come on, Marcy. You know the answer to that already. If Star and I are involved with this baby and in his life, Cod's gonna want to be too isn't even allowed to see his own children, right? But trust me, Marcy, he will find a way. And I want what's best for this baby. And I think that is for him or her to have one mother. And that's you. And one day, I think he'll be old enough to understand. You know, like maybe my age. I actually made a video you did? Yeah. You know, I, I love this baby so much, and I don't want him or her to think that I don't love it, you know? And I, even though I didn't want to get pregnant, I really do think that this baby is a miracle. Oh, sweet. Well, I... Look, I, I mean, if you don't want the baby to see the video, then I, I, no. I'll understand. No, of course I do. Of course... I want this baby to know what an amazing birth mother you are, and... What a brave and unselfish thing you did. And cold it too. He loves this baby so much that he's given up everything. I guess Nora thought you needed to ease back into school mode, huh? I can't wait for summer to be over. Now that you're ready to see start school every day? So I can fast forward to next year. Well, you know, Dorian hasn't even started talking to me about where to apply to college yet. You've got two whole years. Not quite, actually. Early decision applications are due in the fall, and for that, you got to have your SATs, your teacher recommendations all gathered up, your college essay. Am I just raining all over this pool party here? Sorry. Cole's lucky. The guidance counselor talked to my mom about college visits, and she was all, well, with the price of gas, you can afford the virtual online tour. 
I mean, she's all about me going to college, but I don't want my family going broke or to be paying off loans for half my life. You know what? There's always a way. Well, don't go too far, okay? I'm stuck in Landview. Permanently. Oh, come on, Langston. What about college? I'm pretty sure Dorian's going to want to homeschool me for college. The classics. Okay. Do you want some unsolicited advice? Never mind, you're going to get it anyway. It's, I think it's really important for everybody to leave the nest. But I, I already did that once before and not by choice. I mean, Dorian's been so good to me. If I leave now, I don't want her to see it like a slap in the face. Why would she see it that way? Well, after what happened with Adriana, I mean, I feel like I'm all she has left. To take this, excuse me? Sure. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Hello? Uh, sorry about that. She cares. She doesn't know anything about my life. Did you guys have a good summer? You're not even going to ask about her? What, Star? Is there something wrong? Of course there's something wrong. I mean, no, she's fine health-wise, and so is the baby. But she misses you. I mean, are you done wanting to punish her, you big jerk? A lot of people involved have sacrificed a lot. I know. Nobody's really together anymore. Me and Cole, you and Dad. You and Dr. McBean. I've tried and tried to talk to Michael over and over again. And, you know, look, I wish that it wasn't this way, but Michael is afraid of having Todd in our lives if well, we take the baby. He is so. right to worry about that. Well, I'm just going to have to deal with what happens. I'm sorry. And I, I'm sorry that you and Cole aren't together anymore. I mean, maybe someday... All you know what? I don't want to talk about the future. I don't want to talk about this at all. I want to talk about now. Okay? Okay. okay. I mean, I... I have to schedule myself for birthing classes. And I need a coach. Would you? Oh, yeah. Look, I, I know you wish that I wasn't pregnant, but you stop. Been... You stop, Star. I'll be there for you today, tomorrow, anytime you need me, okay? Anytime. Thank you. Okay. And, Marcy, I would really, really, really like it if. If you would be there for the birth. I mean, if you want to. Oh, no, Star. I, I'd be honored. Not punishing Star. Oh, right. Lang, chill. You don't think I miss Star, too? Well, then it's pretty stupid for you guys to be broken up, then, isn't it? Wait, it's not all Cole's right. fault. I don't want you to fight over me and Star, okay? It's... Oh, sorry about that. Okay. I know you must be starving, but back to work. Yeah. I thought what we'd do is we'd start with the colleges locally and, you know, near here, and then work our way west. How's that sound? Sure. It's a plan? Mm, yeah. It's a plan. Okay. Should we go get a table? Bye, guys. Good to see you. Mm. Listen, do me a favor. Can you please tell Star? What? Oh, never mind. Just don't, don't tell Star I asked about it. Just don't tell her anything. <laughs> Again. Okay. Wow, it's been a whole two minutes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi. 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 Is that. Is that my baby? Yes. Uh, this is your baby, Morsi. Looks bigger than last time. Or she, do you, do you guys know? Um, uh, no, a star. I didn't want to know. And then Star calls the shot, right? Uh, Cole, I know that I haven't seen you since that day at the courthouse. And I, I just, I never got a chance to say thank you for what you did, for letting me adopt your child. And I, I just, I look, I just want you to know that you're always going to be that baby's birth father. So if you want to play any role in his or her life, I would welcome that. Okay, I already told Star. 
I can't come in and out of the kid's life like that. Is that stars? Yes. Um, she had to run to the girlfriend. I'm sorry. I can't. You know what? Let's go someplace else. No, I need to be by myself. Okay. I'm sorry.